Hey, good evening, guys. This is Ross, WRNC518. Uh, today's post is going to be a simplex node, high power. Simplex node. I recently built one of these, but it was for high power for jack pressuring. WRPW661, which uh, unfortunately is no longer with us. Uh, but his node I built for the purpose of possibly in the future creating a uh, high power I'm sorry a repeater okay this is an MCS 2000 everything is powered off because I wanted to start from the beginning uh, I'm gonna go ahead and power the power supply okay now you see the pie down there just powered up and pretty soon up here we're gonna see the status light green turn on there she goes now the system is booting. It's going to announce the IP and the IDs. WRTG238. Now the IP. IP address. 10.0.0.0.124. Okay, this particular node is 50 watts, but I got it running at 20. Uh, it should connect uh, in a few seconds to the Octane. Here we go. Node 732 connected to node 1001. Alright, so there she goes. This is, uh, I'll explain in details later when I post it. Um, see that green light is an activity. The blue light is the PTT, as you can see, and the uh, green light is when there's a carrier present. Uh, this is an RL20 sound card. Your guys are accustomed to see the USB rim light, the USB rim full size, the uh, URI XB. Uh, those are the most popular ones. But I came across this company. Uh, who makes these boards? These boards are like $35, which is half of a repeater builder simple USB uh, rim card. Uh, but I bought them in a kit form. See, I got a whole bunch of them. I was building a whole bunch of them and I decided to just take them apart. But anyway, this particular unit, uh, I bought uh, the kit and I built it since I've been doing this for a whole bunch of years, so that's nothing new to me. But you can buy it in, on a, a assemble and test it, and that's fine. All right, as you can see, uh, let me see if I can see the front. Okay, the front says South Day GMRS-C. And again, it's a simplex node. Now, don't let the simplex, uh, the simplex part fool you. You can make a node duplex it's not going to give you any uh, improvement. It's just that uh, if you don't want to be transmitting on the output of a possible repeater, but yet you might want to take advantage of also listening to the repeater uh, on the same radio, you can do that too. But we call them simplex because that's what they're really designed to do. But anyway, this is a 50 watt continuous duty. MCS 2000 uh, uh, radio. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so you can see the connections in the back. All right, I'm running temporary power. Okay, I built this cable that comes out of the bottom of the radio, which I'll I'll show you now. See, I put these labels on it because I'm anal about the stuff that I make. You don't have to get elaborate. It could be crappy. It's not going to work any better. Let me tell you that right off the bat. But it's just the way, that, the way that I was thought and the way that I am building things. Now this cable you see here is coming out of the Raspberry Pi. The internet is already connected. Obviously it wouldn't have connected to the Octane network. Some of you guys have shown interest in connecting to said network. And as soon as I get the duplexers tuned, I got everything just right. Uh, uh, the 462675 it's going to be the repeater frequency that is going to be permanently connected to the Octane work, uh, network. So in case you guys want to jump in and say hi. Okay, this cable you see here is a USB. 
to, uh, I don't really know what they call this USB, but anyway, um, I, don't, I don't like cables long. As you can see here, I created this cable rather short, so we'd be compact. Now let me turn it upside down. Hopefully nothing, hopefully nothing falls apart. Okay, you see, this is the bottom of the radio. Now this radio, as you can see, the heat sinks on the bottom. So I'm not done with this. I'm just giving you an idea as to what to do. But this particular uh, node is going to be mounted. Let me see here. Hang on a minute. All right, it's going to be mounted. And uh, people use this to put on in shelves. Okay, so what this is what this is. And I'm going to mount the radio on top here. All right. Then I'm going to mount the fan underneath, blowing into the heat sink. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. There's several ways to do it, but I haven't thought if I use if I'm going to use a relay out of the PTT line to trigger the relay to turn on the fan, or if I'm going to use a thermistor to drive the fan. I'm not. I just haven't figured out which way I'm going to do it. But anyway, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to post uh, parts and whatever is needed. It's very inexpensive to build, so um, you could probably build this. Let's see. Uh, if you get the pies cheap, uh, probably under $200. But anyway, I'll post all the details so you guys can... Uh, if you need any help, by all means, I'm going to post my email. So you guys can uh, email me if you desire. All right, 73s, have a good one. WRNC518, now off and clear, 73s.